Hello students, welcome back. Hope you are doing good. So in this part, we'll be discussing about different concepts related to vapor pressure. We'll be discussing about two important laws, Henry's laws and Raoult's law. So let's start our session. Vapor pressure. So we'll be discussing about the important concepts related to vapor pressure. Vapor pressure. What is the vapor pressure? Let's understand in the slide the definition of the vapor pressure. So you can see this, there is a container, there is a solvent inside the container and there are some vapor molecules of this solvent present in this container. So this vapor molecules exert certain pressure on this solvent. So the pressure exerted by this vapor in the head space, this is the head space, is referred to the vapor pressure of the solvent. So vapor pressure is nothing but it is again the vapor it is the pressure exerted by the vapor in the head space why head space because uh, this head space occupies certain height and if you multiply density uh, into g you will get the pressure exerted by this pressure inside the head space or in the head space so remember another important point is that every solvent in a closed container reaches a state of dynamic equilibrium so in this figure you can see the dynamic equilibrium that is which has been reached by the given solvent next important point so the addition of a non volatile solute suppose that this is a solvent and to this solvent you are having you are adding a non volatile solute so if you are adding a non volatile solute to the given solvent it reduces the vapor pressure of the given solvent for example, initially, let's suppose this sol solvent has a vapor pressure P0 and because of addition of this non-volatile solute, the vapor pressure of the solvent reduces to P0 minus PS. So this is the difference which occurs because of addition of a non-volatile solute. So the important point is if you are adding a non-volatile solute to any solvent, it reduces the vapor pressure of the given solvent. 